Yo guys and welcome to today's episode. I hope you guys are all having a brilliant day. In today's video we have Middlesbrough at home and Norwich away from home. Two league games, hopefully six points. We are coming to the closing stages of the season. So in most league games we need to be picking up three points. And the last couple of months are very, very tough. Look at April. We have Man United away, Crystal Palace at home in the next episode of course they're in ninth place so they're having a very good season i think everton are in the top six or seven so they're having a good season themselves too and we have two games against real madrid in the quarterfinal of the champions cup in may we have stoke i always struggle against stoke west brom is a tricky game as well chelsea liverpool i mean the last couple of months are very very tough so let's get into the first game of this episode let's quickly see where our two opponents are Middlesbrough in 17th and Norwich are in 18th so realistically we should be picking up six points let's get into the first game at home to Middlesbrough and pick up three points William Remy on the ball here, running forward. Look at the right hands. Whoa, what on earth was that? Is he going to keep it in, though? Is he going to keep it in? Yes, he is. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, mate, that is unbelievable. Just under 12 minutes played, and nothing has happened in this game. It's been a pretty dead start. So hopefully, things will liven up. Locatelli picks up the ball here. Nice ball into Antonio. Abel Hernandez now onto his left foot. Going to hit this across the keeper. It's a very good save. The first real attack of the game comes after 25 minutes. Darun on the ball for Middlesbrough into Dessart forward to Kreisel. He has a shot from range. That was a hit and hope. <laughs> Middlesbrough have absolutely done... Well, we've done nothing either. We've had one real opportunity towards their goal. The keeper pulled off a good save. And that was just, you know what? We're not having nothing. I'm just going to whack this from about 30 yards. And it was an easy save for the goalie. Left-hand side. Are we going to slide in and win the ball? Yes, we are. Mansin, the captain for the day. 35 minutes in and nothing's happened. Hopefully things will liven up. Matches on the ball here into Darun. Fabio now. What's he going to do? He's got his back towards goal. Apparently it's a free kick. And that is a very dangerous cross. Oh, what a save from the keeper. And we're actually going to keep it in. Yes, that was brilliant play from Chilwell. What a save from the keeper. Dangerous cross. And the keeper had to be alert. Chilwell on the ball here to William Remy. A little ball into Locatelli. Going to try and turn it onto his right foot here. I wanted to take a shot, but... There was just no room. We're going to lay it back off here to William Remy. Tyler Walker's in a little bit of space here. We're going to try the curler to that near post. It's hit the side netting. Oh, we could have been 1-0 up. That would have been a perfect time to go 1-0 up. We've we finished the half strongly, so hopefully we can continue that into the second half. Dessart on the ball. Plays it to the right-hand side in Lang. Plays a nice ball into Chrysler now. Dessart again. Back on the ball for Middlesbrough. And they put in a very dangerous cross to the back post. And Fabio on the volley. Well, half volley. Just skies it over the crossbar. I don't know where the hell Dominic Iorva was. But it, I think the keeper would have had that covered anyway. It went straight down. It would have been going straight down the keeper's throat if it was on target. Locatelli going to wait for the run from William Remy. Tyler Walker's making moves. Going to play it through to him. Try and turn inside onto his left foot. Oh, that was a crunching tackle. Okay. See what I mean? I've had absolute rubbish referees because even though that's gone for me, that was a brilliant tackle. He got the ball cleanly, but we get a very good opportunity here to go 1-0 up. Obviously, I haven't mastered free kicks yet, but we are going to try and hit this towards goal. I think Locatelli is probably the best man for it. Going to try and whip this around the wall. 33 yards out. Number 7. Can Locatelli put us 1-0 up? That is a very good free kick. That is probably the best free kick I've ever hit on FIFA and it hasn't even gone in. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's see it from this angle because I couldn't really see it from the angle where you take the free kick. But a very good save. We get a corner, going to whip it in. Hopefully we can go 1-0 up. Who's going to get up? Abel Hernandez going straight back out to Antonio. Whip it right to the back post. William Remy gets up but it's going to get cleared away. Abel Hernandez on the ball through to William Remy. Pulisic pulled back and we're going to play up to Abel Hernandez here. And a little bit of space. First time into Locatelli. A little over the top here to Antonio. A little dink back into the box. Abel Hernandez on the volley. That is a brilliant clearance because that was falling straight to Abel Hernandez's feet. And he would have smashed that towards goal. Surely that would have been 1-0. But here we go. On the attack still to Pulisic. We're going to take it onto his right foot. Put in a very dangerous cross. Oh, it's a touch from Bernardo. And it's out for a corner kick. That could have gone absolutely 
anywhere. We're going to whip this to the near post. Who's going to get up? Abel Hernandez? No, it's not Abel Hernandez, was it? It was Locatelli going for the ball. With 15 minutes remaining. Hopefully, we can grab a late goal. We definitely deserve it. Middlesbrough down the right-hand side here. Number 11. Not so sure, but Chilwell does so well. He's stretched for that ball, and he's still going. He's still going. Pulisic to Chilwell. Going to keep running, keep running. Hopefully, someone's going to get in a good bit of space in the box. We're going to whip it in. It's a dangerous little cross, but it's falling here to Locket. I was wanting to chest that down with Locatelli and smash it towards goal. I didn't really want the free kick there, to be honest. But it's still a dangerous position where we can... Whip this in and grab a goal. Here we go. Locatelli's going to whip it in. Five minutes remaining. It's a good cross. Who's going to get up? It's falling here to Pulisic. Going to lay it up to the right-hand side here. I'm not sure who this is. Cabaselli through to Tyler Walker. Going to turn his man here. Whip this to the back post. Oh, it's a brilliant tackle. Fabio has been so, so good at left-back for Middlesbrough in this game. Throwing in a dangerous area here. Tyler Walker taking it. Locatelli, that is a great first touch. We're going to whip in across. Ayala gets in the way. We get a corner. Deep into stoppage time. Here we go. What can we do with it? Hopefully we can grab a dying second goal. It's going straight on the head of Cabaselli, I think it was. But it goes out for another corner. Come on, we need to grab a goal. Get those three points. We definitely deserve it. It's going straight to Tyler Walker. And it's an easy save in the end for the goalkeeper. The full-time whistle has gone. And we've got ourselves a point and a clean sheet. The only good thing out of this is the clean sheet. Because we definitely deserve the win. Middlesbrough had an okay first half. But we definitely dominated the second half. But at least it's not a defeat. So after that draw with Middlesbrough, let's try and grab three points here against Norwich. They get an early corner. They whip it nice and deep. It's going back out to, I'm not even sure who this is, Brady. He's into the box now. We need to make a tackle. And Fossi Mensah does. Let's try and grab three points here against Norwich. We need to keep the pressure up at the top of the table because the Premier League and, of course, the Champions Cup is our only hope of lifting any silverware. Norwich on the ball here on the right-hand side. James Forrest, obviously a former Nottingham Forest player. And he plays it to Pinto on the overlap. Is he going to whip in across? It's a very dangerous one. Oh, I thought that was flying in. Mario Balotelli here on the ball. Going to spread it to Osborne. Good first touch, please. Back into... Oh, what is going on? 20 minutes played. It's been a dreadful, dreadful start from Norwich and myself. I can't seem to pass the ball. And Norwich are playing very, very good football. Norwich with the free kick. Pritchard puts it onto the edge of the box. And here we go. Can we break away? Mario Balotelli into Barini. Going to wait for the run from Mario Balotelli to the left-hand side. Good first touch. We're going to play it back to Fabio Barini. Surely this has to be 1-0 across the keeper. Oh, it's gone straight down the keeper's throat. And he saved it. Oh, that would have been a brilliant opportunity. We haven't done nothing in this game. Neither of Norwich. That would have been brilliant to go 1-0 up there. To kill Norwich off. But here we go. Fabio Barini going to turn his man. Have a strike towards goal. It's another decent save. Just under half hour played. And I'm not sure why he is picking up a yellow card. But they've got two yellow cards now. James Forrest. Good. Number 46. Obviously a former Nottingham Forest player. And it's for the foul on Mario Balotelli. Okay. I don't think that's really a foul or a yellow card. But okay ref. We're going to whip this onto the penalty spot. Jordan I whips it in. It's a good one. Who's going to get up? It's fallen here to... I don't even know who it fell to, but Norwich player tries to get it away, but doesn't. And Fossi Menson now on the ball. Oh, I thought he was going to get taken out for a penalty. That's why I didn't cross it. But here we go to the back post. Who's going to get up? Leroy Fern is going to get cleared away. Norwich moving forward here. Brady on the left-hand side. Plays it down line to Roman. Is he going to whip in across? He's got three bodies in there, and he's messing around with it. Plays it back to Brady. Davison and Fossi Mensa wins possession. Can we break away? Lee Refer right to the right-hand side. Right to the right-hand side. That made absolute no sense. But here we go. Bruni back to Jordan. I've got loads of space to run into. Come on. Someone needs to get in the box. We're going to keep going. Put across to the back post. And Pinto does well. 52 minutes played. The first 45 minutes were terrible. It's hopefully an early goal. Well, well, it will put us in the driving seat. We need it. Here we go. It's a good cross. Fossu Mensa gets up and it's gone wide of the target. That would have been a perfect time to grab the first goal and take control of this game. Free kick here. Just under an hour played. Osborne going to turn it onto his left foot and have a strike. A goal from range. Oh, what a strike from Osborne. And what a goal. 57 minutes played and Ben Osborne has put us 1-0 up. We had a brilliant opportunity from the corner with Fossi Mensa, the header that just drifted wide. And what a strike that was. Look how easy it was to skip past that Norwich player. Maybe the keeper could have been doing better. I'm not so sure. 
So many long range strikes on FIFA 17. The keeper looks as though they should be doing better. But you know what? I don't even care. It's ended up in the back of the net. And we are 1-0 up. Brini winning back possession. Here we go. Oh, he's giving it away. That was a terrible pass. Now Davison on the ball for Norwich. Can Fossey Mensa win the ball back? Come on. No, he's played it forward here to Stark. And now James Forrest. And someone gets in the way. I'm not sure. But Norwich still on the ball, luckily. And it's a strike towards goal. And it's an easy save for Pickford. And look at the left-hand side. Ben Osborne got loads of space here. Going to play it forward to Mario Balotelli. As it works out. Yep, he's got the ball. Here we go. Ben Osborne going to continue. Surely the ref. That's a free kick. Jesus Christ. Just pushed him off the ball. What the hell is that all about? But we get a free kick. I don't even know how long we played. 77 minutes. We're going to just loft this into the box. Hopefully someone can get their head on it. It's a dangerous one. Keeper's going to come out. He punches. We should be winning that in the air. Yes, we do. Thomas Lamb. You know what? Smash this towards goal. Oh, it's a very, very powerful strike. But it's a very, very good save from a Norwich goalkeeper. I expected that just to be either high and wide or just completely sliced wide from the centre back but it's a very very decent strike and we get a corner 10 minutes remaining Jordan I whips it in can we bury the game yes we can Lee Refer with an absolute beauty of a header and that is three points wrapped up 10 minutes remaining 2-0 let's look at this header again that was an absolute brilliant header what the hell is the guy on the line doing? He's inside the goal trying to clear it off the line. <laughs> Look, what is he doing? 2-0, game wrapped up. So we've just gone 2-0 up. We're going to make a triple sub for the last 10 minutes. Tyler Walker, Livermore and Rolando Aarons coming onto the pitch just to freshen things up. Maybe even grab a third goal and really put Norwich out their misery. Brady on the ball here. Going on a little run. Can we make a tackle? We're still going. Come on, someone make a tackle. Lee referred chasing him back. And he does so, so well. Now Livermore. Look at the right-hand side. Loads and loads of space. Here we go. Going to play it straight into. I'm not even sure who this is. It's Fabio Bruni. Going to kill the game off. 3-0. Outside of the boot finish as well. Wow. What a finish from Fabio Bruni. And that, in fact, is his 10th Premier League goal of the season. What a signing he has been. And as you guys know, he came on a pre-contract. So we got him for free. And that is his 10th. Look at that finish. His 10th. Premier League goal of the season 3-0 and definitely now three points and there is the full-time whistle we pick up a very very good win here against Norwich they really didn't show up and we probably could have had another goal or two but the most important thing is those three points especially now we are coming to the closing stages of the season here is how the Premier League table looks after 29 games. We are in fourth place and actually going pretty strong in the closing stages of the season. So you never know what could happen. Our next opponents are Man United. So we need to pick up the win against them. And guys, look at the bottom. Burnley now have five wins to their name and are finally off the bottom and two points away from safety. I am totally rooting for Burnley to stay in the Premier League. Come on, Burnley, stay in the Premier League for next season. But like I said, in the next episode, we are traveling to Old Trafford, Manchester United away from home. And we have Crystal Palace at home who are having a decent season themselves as well in ninth place. Episode after next is the big one. We have the first leg against Real Madrid at the Bernabeu in the quarterfinals of the Champions Cup. I'm so looking forward to that. But that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a brilliant day. Peace.